Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. Active Limited Slip Differential is a system that electronically controls a multi-plate clutch type limited slip differential. Torque Vectoring Differential is a system that improves cornering performance by applying higher torque to the outer wheels during cornering. If you're not familiar with differential gears or limited slip differentials, I recommend watching the video, Limited Slip Differential, How It Works. Before viewing this video, the link is available in the description. Now, your car is going through a right-hand corner on a racetrack. The left suspension is fully bottomed out, and the right tire is almost lifting off the ground. What do you think would happen if you press down on the accelerator pedal at this moment? In car with a conventional differential, all of the engine power is transmitted to the right side tire. Because the right side tire is not in contact with the road surface, it spins freely and does not generate any forward force for the car. In a car with a mechanical limited slip differential, engine power is distributed to the left side tire through the action of the differential lock. Since the left tire generates traction, cornering performance is improved. An active limited slip differential is a system that electronically controls the multi-plate clutch of a mechanical limited slip differential. It was first adopted by the Nissan Skyline GTR Type R33 in 1995 and is currently used in the Volkswagen Golf GTI. Although there are various designs depending on the automobile manufacturer, we will look at one example. This system uses a conventional differential for differential action. For limited slip action, the inner case of the hydraulic multiplate clutch is mounted on the right side gear shaft, while the outer case is attached to the differential case. During normal cornering, the hydraulic multiplate clutch does not engage, and this system operates like a conventional differential. During hard right cornering, in a conventional differential, all of the engine output is transferred to the slipping right side tire. In an active differential, a hydraulic multi-plate clutch engages as needed, locking the right side side gear shaft to the differential case. As a result, the differential case and both side gear shafts rotate as one unit, and the engine power is distributed to the left and right tires. In practice, the system detects vehicle behavior based on various parameters, such as vehicle speed, accelerator pedal input, and steering wheel operation. It then calculates and generates clutch hydraulic pressure to ensure the optimal distribution of power. The biggest advantage of electronic control is the flexibility in setting the differential limiting action. As explained in the previously introduced video, limited slip differential, how it works. Mechanical differentials come in three types. One way, which limits differential action only during acceleration. Two way, which does so during both acceleration and deceleration in 1.5 way, which is a balance between the two. Additionally, setting the initial torque, which determines the timing for the differential limiting to begin, requires disassembling the differential. Within electronically controlled active differential, these settings can be developed to match the vehicle model's characteristics. However, whether it's a mechanical or electronically controlled system, no matter how much the clutch transfer rate is increased, only up to 50% of the engine output can be distributed to the left side tire. The remaining 50% will still cause the right side tire to spin. A torque vectoring differential is a system that distributes more engine power to the left side tire. It increases the rotational speed of the left side tire, improving cornering performance. In this video, we will learn about two systems. In 1996, Mitsubishi Motors introduced active yaw control in the Lancer Evolution 4. For the differential action, this system uses a planetary gear set instead of the pinion gears in a conventional differential. The right output shaft is connected to the sun gear, and the left output shaft is connected to the planetary carrier. If you are interested in planetary gear sets, please watch the video titled Planetary Gear and Hydraulic Multiplate Clutch How They Work. The link is in the description. 
The planetary carrier's gear meshes with the gear on the idler gear shaft, which has three gears. The other two idler gears mesh with the gears on shafts, each equipped with a hydraulic multiplate clutch. The outer cases of the two hydraulic multiplate clutches are connected to the right output shaft. During normal driving, the rotational difference between the left and right tires is absorbed by the planetary gear set. During right cornering, to increase the torque on the left side tire, the system engages a hydraulic multiplate clutch. Engine power is transmitted from the right output shaft to the left output shaft via the hydraulic multiplate clutch and the idler gear. During left cornering, the other hydraulic multiplate clutch is engaged, transmitting engine power to the right output shaft via the left output shaft, idler gear, and hydraulic multiplate clutch. The current Audi S3 is also equipped with a torque vectoring differential. Its mechanism is much simpler than that of Mitsubishi's system. The ring gear shaft is mechanically completely disconnected from the left and right output shafts and transmits power through a hydraulic multiplate clutch. The hydraulic multiplate clutches are actuated by electric motors through a cam ring. In Mitsubishi's system, the planetary gear set handles differential action during normal driving. In other words, the hydraulic multiplate clutch operates only during hard cornering. In contrast, Audi's system does not have a mechanical differential function. Therefore, the system must calculate optimal differential action and control the electric motor in all situations, from parking lot maneuvers to acceleration at tight corners on a racetrack. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.